everyone. Before today's MTS industry show at SunUS, we want to showcase the company's probably most unique product. It's a mechanical gear reducer with a patented adjustable anti-backlash design. And with me here is Vice President Edward Jung. So Edward, tell me, is it true? Right now, in the whole world, there's only SunUS that manufactures this kind of gear reducer with this type of mechanism. Yes, that's true. Uh, actually, uh, SunUS is a, a professional gear reducer uh, manufacturer. We also develop uh, a lot of kind of uh, anti-backlash gear reducers. A few years ago, uh, we invented uh, a special uh, mechanism. Uh, they can easily adjust for uh, backlash to improve the accuracy. All right, improved accuracy through an anti-backlash mechanism or in this case actually zero backlash as we can see on this inspection sheet. And with this inspection device here, they can measure the positioning accuracy of the gear reducer down to plus minus two micron. Edward, that's crazy, super precise, ultra precise. Yes, uh, actually so our equipment can reach these kinds of accuracies. All right, but I'm sure people watching right now, they not only want to see those numbers on this sheet here, they would also like to see the same numbers here. So can we show them? Yes, uh, let's uh, uh, go to text. But now, today uh, we set up uh, from zero to hundreds uh, and uh, every uh, 50 millimeters. There's uh, always a machine center or CNC double current machine centers uh, set up. All right, so what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Okay, let's uh, start to testing. All right, I think you've seen it yourself. You need unique design capabilities and equipment to manufacture unique products. So if you are looking for highly accurate, durable, zero backlash gear reducers, you definitely should not sleep on what SunUS has to offer. And now make sure to keep watching the MTS Industry Show to learn more about SunUS and their products. And here we are yet again. MTS Industry Channel is back with a brand new episode. And today we're coming to you from Sun Us Tech, one of Taiwan's most experienced manufacturers of gear reducers or speed reducers and other gear related products. So let's jump right into the first segment of today's show in which we'll learn more about the company's history and the basics about their gear reducer models. And we want to do that together with Kate Chung, the assistant of the company's CEO. Kate, thank you for joining us today. Hi, Camille. I'm glad to be here. And I'm glad that you are here and I hope you're ready for today's show. Yeah, yes, I'm ready to introduce our company and product today for everyone are watching. Okay, beautiful. Now we see a lot of products in front of us, behind us, in the back. But before we talk about products, let's talk about Sun Us, the company. So tell us a little bit, how did you get to where you are now as a company? Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, we are located in Taichung, Taiwan. We have 55 years experience of the gear manufacturing. Okay, so over five decades of experience in manufacturing gear-related products. But when it comes to the brand Sun Us, from what I know, it's a relatively new brand, right? 20 years yes. or so? Yes, uh, because the company founder set up the brand Sun mm -hmm. Us in 2000. Okay. Yeah, and because uh, thanks to our background, so we have ability to produce the high quality planetary reducers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, you decided you want to sell it under the new brand Sun Us to position yourself on the market yes. as a gear reducer supplier. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Now, Kate, we have some of your products, reducers in front of you, and we have some of your most, most uh, important series here in the background. Why don't we just walk over yes. and talk a little bit about all the different series that you have to offer and the different applications. And Kate, we want to start with the PG series, right? Yes, the PG series is universal for the CNG machine. Okay. 
the output shift inside, including the table roller bearings. Okay, roller bearings. Yes, and you can hold the axial and radial load. Okay, so specifically designed to sustain more radial and axial load. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, great. And uh, below here we see another type of uh, planetary gear reducers made by Sunas, the DG series. So, Kate, what about the DG series? Yeah, the DG series, the French design is one piece French car carrier. Mm -hmm. And we're using a big bearing mm -hmm. and can save the space. Okay. And also the drag shaw and the ASIO will become bigger. All right, so that was the DG series. Now let's walk over to these uh, gear reducers. We start from the top, we've got the HG series now. Yeah, the HG series we, uh, is especially the output shift, hollow shift design. Mm -hmm. Can put the fewer gear inside mm -hmm. and we can choose smaller size for the thermal motor. Okay, so suitable for smaller servo motors. Yes. And also I think when it comes to torque, when starting the operation. Yes, yes. our re operation will be start fast. Okay. Okay, so that was the HG series and right next to it, because they belong together somewhat, is the HP series. So, okay, what are the differences between HG and HP? Yeah, HP series is for speed uh, movement. Because we put the bearing connect with the outshift with the gear. Okay, and so the specifically designed for high speed machining, machining operations. Yes. Okay, now we have two more that we want to talk about down here the PGR and the HGR. And again, they share some similarities, but there are also some differences. So maybe you can talk about these two. Yeah, both of them they use the spiral barrel ankle design mm -hmm. and put in the machine and set the base for customer. Okay, so compact design, if you have space limitations, one of these might be the right choice. Yes. Okay. All right, Kate, so clearly Sunas has a wide range of different planetary gear reducers for different applications and different customer requirements, right? Yes, from the market demand. Mm -hmm. We are, we, now we have the regular reducer and we develop to the zero backlash preload system to customer. Okay, so not only standard gear reducers, but also preload zero yes. backlash reducers. And zero back backlash is crucial when you want high accuracy and position, yes. positioning accuracy, right? Yeah, because we have the ability to design and offer to customer. All right, Kate, thank you so far, but you'll join us again during the Q&A session later, right? Yes, you will see me soon. Okay, excellent. Now, this was the basic introduction of SunUS Planetary Gear Reducers, but if you're looking for the nitty-gritty details, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a few seconds talking to the Vice President of SunUS. Backlash. That's definitely something that you want to avoid, especially for high-speed, high-precision machining operations. And Sanas has a wide range of zero backlash gear reducers. And now I am here with their vice president, Edward Chang, and we'll be talking about these zero backlash reducers. Edward, welcome to the show. Hey, come here. Nice to, go, uh, to see you here. I'm very happy to be here with you and we're going to be talking about your more advanced products. We just introduced your standard uh, gear reducers, but you also have zero backlash reducers. So maybe you can talk a little bit about why you decided to extend your product range. This entry is a high-speed, high-positional uh, boom gantry. It's a train of the develop. And the uh, pre-low and backlash system is a key technology. Uh, so a lot of uh, main, uh, machine tool manufacturers are looking for the suitable products. Mm -hmm. This is why we developed uh, these kinds of products. These products can run at high speed and uh, remind keep uh, backlash free. Now we have uh, two categories. Uh, uh, that is a uh, mechanical preload system and uh, the other is the uh, electronic preload system. And for the mechanical preload system, we have uh, two types. Mm -hmm. One is a DE, DMU type, mm -hmm. and the general one is a BMU type. And Edward, actually we have 
the DMU and BMU we have in front of us here and we have another of the uh, electrical preloaded uh, gear reducer as well. But you have two types for the electrical as well, right? Yeah. Okay, but we have some pictures, some images, some, some footage that we'll be showing. But let's start with the mechanical type. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about what, what are the differences between the different models. Uh, the DMU uh, we designed uh, with uh, easy setup housings. They integrate uh, two gear reducers with a uh, uniquid adjustable mechanism. They drive by one servo motors and these are two pinions against the rack and swim gears. They can function zero backlash. Okay, so zero backlash and uh, dual pinion uh, design. Actually, all of them are dual pinion design, right? Yeah. Okay, so when it comes to the mechanical type, we have one more, which is the BMU model. What about this one? This one side is designed by Easy Setup the plate. This is the same uh, penetrator gear reducer with a uniquid uh, uh, adjustable uh, mechanism mm -hmm. and driver one server motors. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this one, we application on the, our customers uh, that mm -hmm. uh, look, uh, look like Taiwan's uh, four stars. They use, uh, use uh, this one uh, to his uh, uh, double current machine centers. Okay. It's running very well. Okay, so we've covered the mechanical type. Now let's move on to the electric type. There we also have two models, DEU and BEU, right, Edward? Yes. This is another method to uh, remove the backlash. Uh, they, they set up the two uh, servo motor and the two gear reducers and assemble the two gear, uh, two pinions and uh, set up the master strip. One pinion drives the SS, uh, we call the master. And the second one uh, is drive for preload to remove the backlash, uh, we call the thread. And the preload uh, that create uh, a server controllers. These uh, applications uh, also can uh, operate in the same directions uh, when the backlash is uh, no very critical and the uh, torque need to increase. So that's the model that we see in front of us here, DEU, right? Yes, that's a BEU. Okay, and yes. the BEU we don't have in front of us, but we have some footage that we'll be showing now. So what can you tell us about the BEU? What's the difference? The DEU is a, a strong re register. Okay. And the BEU, uh, our customer, he, he uses on the huge load uh, machines. Okay. Okay, so basically machining operations that require very high uh, stiffness and rigidity, right? Yes. Other applications for linear motions, uh, such as uh, movie gantries or uh, for all boring machines or two sheet cutting machines. Mm -hmm. For, for a rotary drive, uh, we also can application on the mini or boring machines, uh, rotary table drive. Okay, okay, beautiful. So just like for your standard uh, gear reducers, also for your zero backlash, more advanced reducers, you, have, you support a wide range of applications with different models. Yeah. Okay, and um, we talked about uh, the design, the innovations. So this is your Sun Us design. Do you have any patents on your gear reducers? Yes, sir, we have a patents uh, on, on the mechanical preload uh, system. Uh, because a uh, mechanical engine backlash gear reducer, that's an uh, easy setup by electronic or mechanical engineer, and can choose uh, a general blade of the uh, servo motors. So it's uh, easy for the or all the customer. Mm -hmm. But uh, you, if you choose uh, the electronic preload gear mm -hmm. reducer, mm -hmm. it must uh, select a well-known uh, servo motor mm -hmm. such as uh, Hayden Hands, mm -hmm. uh, Simons, uh, Fanac, or Fargers. Mm -hmm. Also need experienced uh, electronic engineer to set up. Okay, so when it's an electric. Uh uh, gear reducer, the setup is not that easy and you're a little bit limited when it comes to the choice of your uh, servo motor. Yeah. But uh, this type, electrical type, uh, also has some advantages, I assume, right? Uh, if you have the choice of the, the right servo controllers, uh, mm -hmm. you have the high repeatability or greater control flexibilities. Mm -hmm. But you essentials, uh, you need the uh, experience uh, uh, electronic uh, gear uh, electronic engineer okay how to yeah. set it up properly so yeah. that it works properly as well how you expect it to work 
Yeah. Okay. All right, excellent. Now, Edward, I know that Sunos not only manufactures standard zero backlash gear reducers, you also can uh, manufacture custom solutions. Basically, any type of gear related product you can customize, right? So maybe you can talk a little bit about this. Okay, we uh, for the customer uh, request, uh, we also have uh, this uh, solution. Okay. Come here, so let me show you the, our products. Okay, okay, yeah. let's check them out. Okay, I see some, okay, customized product. For the customer request, uh, we also have uh, this uh, kind of experience uh, to surprise uh, customers with these kinds of products. Mm -hmm. One is a single drive with uh, one output shaft with uh, two slab preload pinions. They also can use on the uh, Linear accurate uh, motions or okay. rotary motions. Okay. And uh, that one is a single drive with uh, two pinions uh, drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also can use on the rotary drive and uh, some special purpose uh, uh, applications. Okay, special purpose applications. Yeah. So these custom products, uh, the, the customer um, came up with a certain design or had a, a certain application and you came up with this design for him, custom design? Yeah, uh, we can come uh, go through our customer okay. designs uh, with some OEMs for them. Okay, excellent. And we also have uh, warm gear, zero backlash warm gears, right? Yeah, we also manufacture the double leaders. Mm -hmm. the double leaders, warm, warm gears, uh, the backlash can adjust uh, close to zero backlash. This one can uh, use on the machine center or in uh, index or rotary tables. Okay, okay. Yes. rotary tables. And we have one more that we want to talk about, right? And uh, this one uh, we designed uh, for double current uh, machine center uh -huh. for double axis uh, move, movement. Yeah, this one. Okay, beautiful. So custom uh, solutions from Sunas for their customers to meet their specific requirements. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, Edward, thank you very much for sharing all your knowledge with us. And um, I think you will also join us for the Q&A session at the end of the show, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this and is my we'll pleasure. Be... Yeah. Okay, it's, my pl it's your pleasure and it's my pleasure as well. And yeah. we'll be answering more questions later on. Now, this segment is almost over, but we'll be back in a few seconds with Kate again. And we'll be talking about R&D, customer communication and customer support. All right, Kate, you are back. Welcome back. Yeah. And um, we want to talk a little bit about your team and then we also want to talk about customer communication and customer services. So you have showed us your standard gear reducers. Now, Edward talked extensively about your zero backlash, more advanced gear reducers. But let's also talk a little bit about the people behind Sunas. So what do you think differentiates the Sunas team from your competitors? Yeah, our team have high quality theoretical foundation and a rich spirit. So it's why every year we have been pursuing excellent research and innovation. So it's why we obtain multiple patent certificate every year. All right, multiple patents every year. That's excellent. Now, Kate, we've seen a lot of your products and most of them are being used in the machine tool industry. But I know that Sunas has also been branching out into other industries in the most recent history, right? Yes. Yeah, in recent years, uh -huh. we dedicating the key technology to the green industry. Okay, green industry? Yeah, to government. Okay, so kind of cooperating with the yes. government here? Yes. Okay, can you tell us a little bit more about what exactly you have been developing? Yeah, we set up the test bench for wind turbine, which meets the international certification. Okay, excellent. So new products developing for the future maybe of yes. SANAS and the future of yeah. uh, new industries. Yeah, for the human. Okay, for the human, for the world. Okay, beautiful. So I'm sure you need to help your customers, you need to guide them, help them to find the right product, right? Yes, that's very true. We need to identify what customer they need and pick the best solution for them. Uh, we have a modern selection system and to guide and improve customer purchase procedure. Okay, so how does it help them? Yeah, it's easy to understand the type of reducers Rex pinion and uh, slowing bearing in a short time. We can also integrate it 
software, hardware, material, and the sophistication into multiple analysis to offer customer the right server motor model suggestion. Okay, excellent, Kate. Now, can you talk a little bit about how exactly this process uh, of uh, communicating with your customer unfolds? Yeah, in the first stage, we will make a project team and uh, keep communicating with the customer to come up with the perfect solution to quickly respond to customers' design change request. Technical support is available for customer question within 24 hours. Okay, excellent, Kate. So not only when it comes to the technology, the design, but also when it comes to customer services. So you've got that part covered as well. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Kate. So far, this was customer communication and customer services at Sanas. Now in our next section, we'll be talking about everything related to quality control, machining accuracy and delivery. So stay tuned. All right, so now it's time to talk about the manufacturing capabilities and inspection procedures here at Sanas. And now I am with Paul Wu. He is the project manager here and he's in charge of overseeing all the manufacturing and inspection processes. Paul, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, Camille. Uh, very thank you for the, let me have the uh, opportunity to introduce our factory. Absolutely. We'll be talking about your factory and especially about your manufacturing machining mm -hmm. equipment because when it comes to the quality of your gear reducers, obviously mm -hmm. a, a crucial factor is the quality of your machining equipment. So mm -hmm. maybe, Paul, you can talk a little bit about what types of machine you have and why you chose them. Okay, thank you. Okay, you can see in our factory there is uh, gear hobby machines and gear choppers and uh, gear grinding machines and the jig grinding machines. Mm -hmm. And they all come from well-known manufacturers. And from the country that is uh, Germany, okay. Japan, Switzerland. Okay, so just well-known manufacturers mm -hmm. uh, from countries where you expect very high precision uh, yeah, machining equipment. Yes, yes. That is, uh, <clears throat> very uh, that is uh, our principle to select the machine basic on that. Okay, excellent. So you can meet world standards and you can compete with competitors from all over the world. Yes, that, that is also very important for us to complete our product mm -hmm. and to meet the world-class standards. Okay, excellent. I think when you say world-class standards, mm -hmm. that also applies to your inspection equipment. So mm -hmm. why don't you talk a little bit about your inspection procedures here for your gear reducers? Okay. For those uh, inspection instruments, we have a uh, two-dimension uh, two coordinate and three-dimension coordinate uh, measuring machines. Mm -hmm. And for the gear profile, we have uh, Klimberg and Osaka uh, gear profile measuring machine for that. All right, so again, uh, well-known brands, well-known manufacturers when it comes to inspection equipment, but we have more that we want to talk about because obviously when we're talking about gear reducers, two keywords are torque and backlash, right? So Paul, what kind of uh, inspection do you have in place to ensure that you meet your targets uh, in regards to torque and backlash? Okay, about this, we also, we have a fuel mechanism must have high precision, high torque, to ensure the safety performance of the product. And talk about the backlash. Normally, a reducer with rack and pinion linear position usually is above 15 micrometers, sometimes more than 70 micro. Our mechanical anti-backlash reducer can reach plus minus two micro. Okay. We test our mechanical anti-backlash reducer on the linear accuracy tester. We set up position from 0 mm to 200 mm and run it five times to ensure high repeatability and accuracy. All right, and you just mentioned plus minus two micron, that's super high precision. Mm -hmm. And also we want to mention, Paul, that all your inspection procedures follow ISO standards, right? International standards. Yes, absolutely. 
both in process quality control and inspection record meet ISO specifications. Okay, excellent. Now, Paul, you just mentioned records. So for how long do you keep track of uh, your inspection results? Inspection record for each process in manufacture. Assembly and measurement will be available for every reducer. Their record will be kept for over eight years. All third-party suppliers are qualified with ISO certification. All right, Paul, I think with this we have covered uh, the extensive quality control procedures at Sunas. Thank you very much. No problem, anytime. Excellent, but you're not leaving us yet. You'll stay with us okay. for the Q&A session. We'll answer a few more questions. Yes. Okay, beautiful. And you should also not miss out on the Q&A session. We'll be answering some of the most common questions regarding Sun Us and their products. You're watching MTS Industry Channel at Sun Us, and this is the final part of today's show, the Q&A session. Kate, Edward and Paul, are you ready to answer some questions? Yes. Yes, yes I'm ready. Okay. Ready? Yeah, ready? Okay, let's do this. So, let's start with a simple but very important question. Um, when it comes to the delivery time, so yes. how long do I usually would have to wait for my gear reducer? We can be, should be out within a week after order. Okay, so about seven days for a standard product yes. and if it's a custom product, of course, it might take a bit longer depending yes. on uh, how complicated yes. the design is. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Now, another topic that we want to cover is um, the different motor brands that your customers might be using. So, how do we make sure that they can use your gear reducer with any type of motor? Well, we can design and manufacture uh, every kind uh, of the adapter. Mm -hmm. They can uh, connect to uh, various uh, brand uh, servo motor. So you just uh, let me know your motors, uh, then I, I can select a uh, suitable uh, adapter and uh, send you the assembly drawing mm -hmm. uh, for your confirmation. Now, Edward, uh, one thing that people might be concerned about is heat generation and thermal expansion, especially during high-speed machining. So. How do you prevent this from, from happening with your uh, planetary gear reducers? Uh, our gear reducers uh, use on uh, liquid flowing uh, uh, synthetic oils. Okay. And the designs uh, with uh, in, inlet and outlet can uh, connect to a cooling uh, device okay. for the pollution's uh, temperature. Okay to ensure the high accuracy. Okay, so high accuracy and uh, perfect uh, temperature control. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Now I have one more question for Edward. Um, a lot of your uh, gear reducers uh, um, incorporate uh, tapered roller bearings. Now why yeah. is that? Uh, most of our gear reducers are uh, equipped equip with uh, tapered roller bearings. They can uh, suspend uh, more radio and access force. In the heavy, uh, heavy load, uh, sometimes uh, a table roller bearing is better than a ball bearing. All right, Edward, thank you very much. And we have one more question um, where we want to talk about heat treatment of gears. There are different processes. Um, we want to talk about carburizing and nitriding. So, Paul, what are the differences there? Okay, to compare these two kinds of treatment, the most difference, I think, that is the uh, rigidity and okay. the depth of the hardness. Okay. Uh, for example, the hardness of the carburizing that is about 0.5 to 2 millimeter deep, and the nitriding mm -hmm. only can get 0.1 to 0.6 millimeter. Okay, so that's quite a difference. And uh, so most of your, or all of your gear reducers are carburized then? Yes, that is true. Okay, okay, got it. All right, so I think we're through with our questions uh, for this Q&A session, but actually I am curious, I have one more extra question, bonus question, okay. Uh, so we see in the background this huge uh, bearing, 2.5 meters. I walked through it at the beginning of the show, right? So. What, what, what is the application of this kind of bearing? What is it? It's huge. Uh, that's for wind turbines and industries. 
Now we develop the wind turbines uh, uh, use a uh, uh, yaw and pitch swimming uh, bearings. Also develop the uh, yaw and uh, pitch use uh, uh, gear reducers. In the future, we can uh, deliver uh, the whole set of uh, yaw swimming bearing with a uh, gear reducer. Uh, beginnings, uh, we begin from uh, the land areas uh, use uh, uh, swimming gear. Okay. Yeah. So all kinds of uh, new new products in development. Yeah, that's our new product. Okay, so. okay, but and then, but so far this is the biggest one, diameter 2.5. Yeah, now we uh, this is our biggest one, so okay. 2.5 uh, millimeter uh, meter. <laughs> oh, meters, sorry, not meter. millimeters. Yeah. All right, and with this, I think we're almost through with today's show. We talked about all your products, all your gear reducers, standard and custom products. We also talked about your manufacturing, inspection, R&D capabilities. But before we end today's show, Kate, what can we, what can people out there expect from Sunas in the future? Mm -hmm. uh, while we are expanding our international market, we are inviting agents to be part of us, to join us. Welcome to our website, waiting for your feedback. Thank you. Excellent, so you heard it. If you have any kind of feedback, if you want to inquire about their products, if you have other questions that we have not answered today, you can contact the Sanas team anytime and they will get back to you as quickly as possible. Kate, Edward and Paul, thank you so much for having us today and thank you for telling us so much about your company and your products. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Camille. Thank you too. And thank you for watching MTS Industry Channel today at Sun Us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.